Yep, although team on the right, Team Gryffindor, does have a strike working for their first bowler. That'll help. Slight edge. Oh, tough leave for Connie on lane three. The diamond left with the 10 pin on the right. Ariana looking for a big out. And Connie as well. Ariana DiBiasio also bowls out the Central Park lanes in East Boston. Ariana and Justine are sisters. And they're on opposite teams today. Connie's at 16 after two. Ariana 16 as well. And the anchor men are back up. Corey Gendro and Jonathan Boudreau. Jonathan. It's a big ball there, Dan. Jonathan had a little bit of a scare trying to qualify today, Steve. How do we take the top four in every age group? He was fighting out for that fourth place spot. But once he gets on, watch out. He just kicks it in another gear usually. Yeah, when he heats up, he's tough. It's a spare for Boudreau. I think that wood's good for... Oh, Corey Gendro off really off on that shot. I probably should have gotten that wood out of there for him. Boudreaux's currently averaging 121. He has a high single of 182 and a high triple of 456. Gendro with a nine. He's at 18. Still 97 all. But uh, Team Gryffindor are working on a strike. Genestee's right here with the strike. Yeah, she had to and reset. Boudreaux with the spare. So they can build up a small lead. Yeah, Steve's fouled on the first ball, so this second ball will mean a lot. This is a great ball by Ashley LaPlante. Ashley was with us last year, as well as, well as Jenna. It's a nice 10, a great 10 by Ashley LaPlante. Jenna Stees with a three fill on the strike and a three box. She's at 23 to LaPlante's 22. This game is almost even right now. We've got uh, Team Slytherin on the left with a four pin lead, but Gryffindor's got one extra mark working, so it's practically an even game. Josh Daly had the, he qualified fourth today, but he was tied with uh, Logan Legacy. So they had to have a one string match and Daly won that match by about 10 pins to earn the fourth seed today. And that's why, hey, a couple of big spares. I Daly even, and Fontaine putting on a show here for I the crowd. I didn't even see Nate's. I had turned my back and I was writing down Josh's score. I'm going to have to watch the replay because I don't know how that went. Colleen Dumas, lane four, all over the head bend. She qualified today with a 265. Justine DiBiasio was our top seed today with a 307. A nice try. A great effort by both our ladies, Dan. Yeah, both of them just leaving a corner pin, and I think both of the corner pins wobbled. Colleen with a nine. Justine with a ten. Colleen at 26. Justine 25. All right, one of our Canadian friends throwing the ball again. A little extra action there. This wood looks like it's tying the shot. Off balance. Well, both our boys will be looking for an out. Barry Sheffield. There's a nice ball just sliding by. Settles for eight. As well as Aaron Souza. Are our eldest ladies, Ariana DiBiasio and Connie Webster. Oh, 
tough break, tough break for Ariana. Let's see what Connie does. She's all over it, Dan. That was a great ball. Yeah. Yeah. Nice solid shot for Connie Webster. Like, it's not great in between the 9 and the 10. It's hard to carry both of them. Yeah, I've got some of your sheets for you, Steve. <laughs> all right. Ariana's at 22. Connie, 25. It's 136 to 144. But Jonathan Boudreaux working on the spear. Eight on it, and we're tied up. Nine takes the lead. One pin match. Grisendor is up by one pin. Gryffindor. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Harry Potter. I keep, I keep messing it up. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't watched too many Harry Potter movies. Good movies. Yes, they are. I know they are. Boudreaux with two consecutive spears, 38 and a bonus ball working. Jonathan asked if he could have a prize for three marks in a row. What can I give him, Dan? I don't know. Shake his hand. Gendro with an eight at 26, a little, little out of sync at the moment. Hopefully he can regroup. Our leadoff bowl is back up. Jenna Steves all over the head bin. Ashley has an older brother, Austin, who does a lot of bowling. He was with us in the qualifying round. It's a great spare for Jenna Steves. Jenna's marking every other box. Great recovery from that three frame she had. Yeah, strike three spare. <laughs> It's on a roller coaster, but it feels good to be on the upside. Ashley's looking to take uh, eight or nine here. She sells for eight. She's at 30 through four. Josh Daly and Nathan Fontaine are both back up, and both boys are working on spears. And as you mentioned, Ashley and her brother made the show today. First time ever her brother made it. Nate, nice ball. Nathan's going to fill his spear with five. Josh is going to fill with one. Nathan punching out the two pin. Nathan is the Massachusetts State All Events Champion this year, Dan. I didn't know that. And he's going to settle for eight, and he's at 41 through four. Daly's going to punch out two, take six, and he's at 29. Josh Daly's been with us before, Steve. He uh, was a beat the shoe, com smoke the shoe competitor before. I remember because we were joking, we were going to say we're going to rename it the Daly Show. <laughs> good laugh over there from Josh. He's just smiling. He's having a good time. Colleen Dumas all over the object. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's a great shot. Justine DiBiasio. I liked where she played that. Steve. A big crowd pleasing spare. That's where I wanted to Dumas see. Dumas with a nine. I wanted to see her play the shot there, but I really didn't think she was gonna. You know, a lot of people just try to hit the pin on the right and hope it'll kick over, but that bottom of the wood looks awfully tempting too, and it went nice. Barry Sheffield from Halifax, Nova Scotia. And every time I hear that name, I think Gary Sheffield, you know? <laughs> I did the same thing, Dan. I bet you he gets that a lot. Sure. Well, either boy unable to mark in the fourth frame. As we said earlier, it's a one-string match. Total pinfall will determine our winner today. We enjoy the team championships. It's a lot of fun, a lot of excitement, especially with the Canadians coming down. And the way we do the one-box format really keeps the crowd involved. You know, we get a lot of the Canadian parents still here. Uh, a few fans who drove in just to watch the match. 
Ariana DiBiasio. I know from uh, having Ariana on the show a lot through the years, she really loves to dance. And I know when she's not bowling, she's usually dancing in some play or, or show. Connie Webster looking for a big shot here. I really want to pull those balls back. There you go. Connie, as we said earlier, is from Halifax, Nova Scotia. She does her bowling at the South Center. And she goes to the Citadel High School. She averages 104. She has a high single of 132 and a high triple of 354. Her proudest bowling accomplishment was winning the Nationals this year. So congratulations, Connie. Nationals. Very nice accomplishment. Is that, I wonder how that compares to our state's events. If it's more global, more, you know, wider or... It's a nice ball by Boudreaux. Boudreaux looking for three consecutive marks. Gendro looking to get on the board with his first smudge. Boudreaux trying to cover the right side. You know, I didn't think... It looked he, good, maybe a little more right, Dan. You know, I didn't think he did anything wrong. I liked it. it That's a great ball. I thought, I thought Gendro had that one. That was a great try. Well, through four, Boudreau at 56, Gendro at 35. The match is 215 to 210. It's only a five-pin difference. Both got one mark working.